Well, thank you very much. First of all, I will say that I'm blessed to be here today, as all of you are blessed to be here today. Amen. Because the blessings that we have every day to be able to see our families, to be able to wake up in the morning with the abundance that we have. And please know, we have abundance. That it's not a guarantee in this life that when you're born, that you will be born with abundance. And yet we have been. So many around us in this world are born without a lot. Yet those that are born without a lot, it doesn't stop them from being the greatest people either. It isn't what you're born with, it's what you have in your heart. That's what's gonna drive you to great success in this life. So those of us here that are supporting the Boy Scouts of America, I wanna thank you very much because it is the funds that we raise that allow those children that are born without a lot to have the little bit that they need, just the little bit that they need to become great people. Our Boy Scouts of America has been able to put together many presidents of the United States of America who are Eagle Scouts. Many of our astronauts are Eagle Scouts. Many of our industry leaders throughout the United States are Eagle Scouts. This organization is a global organization. It wasn't founded without the vision of greatness. It was founded upon the vision of greatness. And so I'm going to say that this Lifetime Achievement Award that I have, have the pleasure of receiving today, I'm accepting on your behalf. I am accepting this award on behalf of all of those that are Boy Scouts. All of those that have been Boy Scouts. All the parents that support those that are in Boy Scouts. To your families that have supported Boy Scouts, I'm accepting this award. It is an award that I'm holding for all of us. So if I wake up in the morning and the eagle has flown, I know it flew to one of you. So the reality is we all hold this eagle together. So I wanna thank you for that. I wanna say that what is a driving factor for a Boy Scouts? Today I'm receiving quote unquote a lifetime achievement award. One that I would not have thought that I would receive because in life you don't necessarily look forward to awards. It doesn't necessarily happen. But I'm honored to not only be in great company today for these awards, for this particular award, but what was what are the traits that are looked upon by the board when achieving or granting this type of an award? They are. And these are Boy Scouts. Trustworthiness. Loyal. Helpful friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, reverent. Those are a lot of character words that describe those of us that in our hearts are Boy Scouts. It's very important to know that these traits create a person and when driven together, create a marvelous individual. And that's what the Boy Scouts are doing day in and day out through parents. Many parents are one parents and even, even some homes are grandparents because parents are not as engaged in many cases as you would expect. I will say a couple of things uh, before I finish. First, I want to thank my wonderful wife, um, who is my, my friend, and I love her dearly. Uh, she's been great to me in allowing me to do a lot of work in the community, and she has been a supporter of me all the way, and I want to thank you, Terry. You're great, and I love you. I want to thank my son, Ray, who's been a great supporter of me throughout his life. He's been a great inspiration to me in the things that I've done, and for that, I'm also very proud. So thank you, Ray, for being there with me. I would like to say one thing that's very important, and um, I want to thank Tibor Hollow. I do want you to know that I lost my dad when I was 16 years old. I do want you to know that my dad was my best friend. I do want you to know that I prayed day and night to the Lord to say who was going to train me, who was going to look after me, how was I going to view the future. I knew that I wanted to be somebody and I wanted to be contributory to the world where I lived. It was Tibor Hollow when I was young that I met who spent time mentoring me. 
you just heard Alex Mendieta, who's like a son to me, and I have mentored him. And so we pay forward. Tibor Hollow, who spent time with me throughout the many, 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 many years, who I consider my father today, has presented me with this fantastic award, which I want to thank him, Father, for doing that for me today. Your love, of, your love and your mentoring of all your life for me has been wonderful and has allowed me to have driven, driven myself hard. And people will tell you one thing, after you drive yourself hard, you must drive yourself harder. After you're tired, you must get more tired. You need to drive success and give your all every single day, not just some days. So Tibor, thank you for always telling me, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and keep going. <laughs> and that's been fantastic. And for Alex, who I consider a son that I mentioned, he's fantastic. He's reached a, a very, very young man. He's uh, 40 under 40, but he's like 33, I think, or 34. A young man, still, still rising. I, I congratulate you. And then to Jeff Berger and to the people in Scouts that are here that have supported us, the Scout members that are here uh, that do the day-to-day -day work, congratulations. Jeff Berger, you're an outstanding leader. You do a fantastic job. So without that, without further ado, thank you very much. And Lieutenant Governor, thank you. And I told Lieutenant Governor, in the state of Florida, so that you know, interestingly enough, the state of Florida, one trillion dollar economy. It's the 17th largest economy in the world. The Lieutenant Governor is a vice president in any country. Yeah. Sitting next to me is the vice president of a country. Yet, in our small, secure environment, she sits here as a normal human being, giving back day by day to this great state, allowing us to reach our potential. And she's there leading the way, and I wanna thank you for that. Thank you very much.